Okay, Mazda CX-5 or Mazda 6 2.2 Sky Active Diesel Timing. Uh, coloured links on the chain and marks on each gear and you would would think that you just line that, line those up and that's that. Well, that's just not enough. So let's go to the base timing. Notice the straight line mark on the gear. That should be directly in line with the face of the cylinder head and the coloured link on the dot on the top sprocket for the camshaft. And of course you one would assume there will be a dot and a coloured link on the bottom and you would assume correctly. But how do we know the bottom gear is in the correct position because the base setting for the bottom gear is 12 o'clock. Well to me that looks like 12 o'clock and it's straight up. 12 o'clock being at the top. But we have a problem. All of the slack is here and should be here. So here's how we know that the bottom gear will be in the correct position. So let's run over it again. We line up the top one first. Yes, the top one first, not the bottom one. Line that mark up with the cylinder head. Put your, your chain and colored link lined up as so. Do the same for the bottom. Fit this guide, making sure there's still slack on this side of the chain. Then you've got to turn the crankshaft until the slack goes out of the chain and the chain slots nicely into the guide. Therefore, this gear cannot turn any further without moving the chain, which means it's in the correct position in line in correspondence with the top and the, the coloured links are in the correct position because if you notice there is no actual alignment mark for the bottom gear. So that's the only way to ensure that the bottom gear is in the correct position therefore you fit the tensioner guide and the tensioner and all of the slack is on will be taken up by the tensioner. Voila! Mazda CX-5 2.2 Skyactive Timing. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.